Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Epoch and in this video I will be showing you how I created my little version of the Batcave in Dragon Quest Builders 2. Now, let's just quickly go over the first contemporary home. Let me just show you that from the top over here. Uh, we'll show the inside in a, so in a moment, but let's just quickly get into the Batcave part. Now, uh, I don't know if any of you have seen the Arkham Knight uh, cinematic trailer, but there is one part where the Batmobile just rises out of the water, uh, out of a cave, as he rides on the glass. And I really liked that, and the moment I knew about magnetic blocks, I knew I wanted to recreate that. So, let's just show you really quickly. Now before I uh, show you the inside, let's just go over it a little bit further in detail. So on um, both the inside and the outside I have a button like this one. Uh, so if I press it, it the door opens and if I press it up again, it closes all with the same button. And we have the same kind of button over here on the glass. Uh, the door closes. So the system is purely with magnetic blocks that are you know, transformed into umber blocks and just slides into the mountain like this. I, I like it so far. And on top you see the contemporary building I just built. Uh, you know, as my little Wayne Manor, so to speak. Now, um, this is my bat cave or as I like to call the builder cave. Now it has all sorts of things. Now here we have our furnaces uh, combined with tubes and ventilation shafts, um, you know, to keep it a little bit believable. Here we have some workbenches, uh, like welding tools and stuff like that. Here we have the uh, anvil and some storage containers with all kinds of stuff inside that I don't use. Here we have the stain extractors and our builder's table and then um, what's it called? I don't know, the table to tie your stuff with. Oh, here we have, you know, a little bit more of the bad feeling, bad gay feeling. So I don't have a bad computer, so I had this little desk with some notes and books. And here he, my character can sit and brood if he wants to. And right next to it here you have this little, uh, you know, you know, Batman he keeps actually all the suits in like from these capsules um, to display his suits. Well, this is a little bit my version. So here the, bat the builder has all his weapons, equipment and stuff like that. Okay, so down here we have um, an elevator. Uh, same system here if the elevator isn't here or like now. So we can just press this button and the elevator comes down and another push of the button and we go up same system with the two buttons here and can even send it down if for whatever reason with some of the outer buttons um, so immediately we arrive in the you know living room dining area but let me just show you the entrance first so this is the outside, we have uh, you know, our front door and we have two stories in you know, the ground floor and the second, uh, the first story up. Um, so we have, I added a stop here with the racetrack uh, system that I set up when I was building the uh, pyramids over there, you know, cha changing it quite drastically. Now as we go in. Um, we have this large entrance over here. We immediately have a toilet Here we have our kitchen Quite simply made, uh, you know one of the storage containers has a fridge We have a dining table And here we have you know a little sitting area 
and we want can sit if you want. You can read a little bit with some trophies from uh, mini bosses in the Explorer Islands. Here we can say we have a family portrait, but it's only one girl, so you know. I'm still trying, really trying to uh, create like that Wayne Manor vibes. Now I was thinking about uh, hiding the elevator behind uh, a moving clock, like the one over here. But in all honesty, then it would have been a lot messier. Then I would have had to hide one of the buttons and probably taken a lot more space than I wanted to. So I just chose to have it open like this. Um, the reason that it's not in white uh, like the rest of the building is just mainly because I wanted to have it appear a little bit like a mining shaft. Like the same one in the bat, bat cave in the movies. Up we have here the uh, you know the hall. So oh, this is pretty much just the staircase up and we have a little painting over here from the uh, digital deluxe edition um, and just some flowers and stuff. But because it's a little bit of a boring room, I kind of tried to make it a little bit more interesting by placing these windows here. Um, so you have, once again, that view outside. The view to the outside part is pretty much the biggest reason why I chose this uh, location. Uh, let me just show you really quickly where it is. Um, let me just go under the balcony. So it's right here between the pyramid and the green area. It's exactly on the border. Uh, between the two areas for the NPCs. So here we have the bedroom. We have a desk area. So which, uh, for example here you also have the registry. Uh, we have a little changing room. And next we have our bathroom. Uh, so we have a shower, some sinks and of course a bath. Um, and here you have this little view outside. So like with my previous builds, I've been really trying to uh, have constantly that connection to the outside. Here we have one of the two balconies and immediately also a, uh, a pool. And this is the outside of the bathroom. I also have a greenery on the top of the building, if you can see that. We have, I have some trees and some shrubs up there. And here we, I almost, I almost forgot on the ground floor you also have this balcony right outside the dining room. Uh, we, you know, place where you can play cards, make music, uh, yeah, just have fun. And then we have this little, uh, I don't know, Feng Shui garden. So uh, normally this is just all umber, rocks and stuff like that. So the reason that I uh, you know, just place the earth a little bit between it, just to make that, you know, it really has to look artificially for me. So this is just like how you can artificially just throw down some earth and uh, some, uh, grow some grass and plants and stuff like that. Just to have that little feeling of, you know, I don't know, just artificial greenery. I don't know, it really works nicely. Here you can also just bait a little bit in the sun as you're watching the farmers over there, uh, you know, work. And a little further we have over here our little bridge and a bench to look out at the mountain. And here you have that glass bridge to the bat cave or builder's cave. Also in place a little swing over here. But yeah, that's, uh, is, uh, you know, my build for, well, this house actually. So I wanted to make a modern building and, uh, you know, the builder's cave is something I just wanted it to make from the very start, even before I bought the game. The moment I knew about the Magda blocks, I really wanted to make it. So yeah, this is my build. I'm really happy with it. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And I'll catch you next time, guys. See ya!